simple as we get around the corner. I'm Rick Steves. I'm in uh, Cumbrian Lake District with my guide Andy. And Andy, uh, your, your company is uh, Go, what is it called again? Go. Show Me Cumbria. Show Me Cumbria. Yeah. And Andy is showing me Cumbria today and we're driving up Kirkstone Pass. And Andy mentioned that this area is famous for its centuries old dry, dry stone, stone walls. walls. And uh, they go way back centuries and you can even see them climbing up the hills there. And Andy, wh what's the origin? Why, why would these farmers, these humble farmers centuries ago build these amazing stone walls. Um, there was a, a, a real lot of arguments about who owned which piece of land. Um, every night people would go out and move boundaries and there would be more and more fights. So they decided that they would fetch out a act of parliament called the Enclosures Act and that forced the farmers into building Proper boundaries. Okay, so proper enclosures. It, it took an act of Congress, or no, an act of Parliament, yes. to get that done, and that was centuries ago. Yeah. And uh, they had a little added advantage of that because finally, instead of fighting with each, with each other, they talked to each other because they could split the cost of building these walls. Yep, yeah, with the neighbor. And if you got sheep running all over the place, these walls are kind of handy also because they serve, serve as a kind of funnel when it's sheep. time for the dog to bring those sheep home. Yeah, and also give a little bit of shelter to the to the animals as well in rough weather. You know, you can. There's history all over the place when you're exploring places like the Cumbria Lake District, and now we're getting into the high country, going over Kirkstone Pass. What's the altitude of Kirkstone Pass? Would you guess? The pass itself is uh, 1,500 feet above sea level. <laughs> 1,500 feet. It doesn't seem very tall on paper, but when you climb up this and you enjoy the views as you explore Cumbria. You're glad you're here. Happy well, travels from the Cumbrian Lake District. Yeah.